Okay, so we have the problem. The question is, uh, we have a galvanometer and it deflects to a full scale when 0.5 volt is applied to the terminal of, terminals of a galvanometer. So you have a galvanometer, of course, with its internal resistance. And, and the problem says if you apply, you know, to the terminals of this galvanometer of 0.5 volt, the uh, galvanometer will deflect to the maximum uh, value. So this is a given parameter for this problem. And Rg is given as 25 uh, ohms. And then the problem says this galvanometer is to be used as an ammeter or ampere meter by using, of course, a, a auxiliary resistance which we call uh, the shunt resistance RS and you know if you want to use this galvanometer by using RS uh, as ampere meter and you want to measure some current values up to 2 amperes maximum what RS the shunt resistance value should be used so if you want to for example uh, you know uh, measure some currents this can be uh, 1 amperes, 1.5 amperes, etc. But if you know that the maximum current that can be uh, faced or, uh, you know, you come across is 2 amperes, then what uh, shunt resistance value sh you should be used? So remember, just remember that uh, this is the setup to use the galvanometer as an ammeter. You know between two terminals and you want to measure this current I you should construct your ampere meter out of this galvanometer like this and you should choose a auxiliary resistance short resistance so previously uh, we have expressed we have determined that this RS shunt resistance value to be the current, the maximum deflection current for the galvanometer divided by the current to be measured I minus IG multiplied by the internal resistance of the uh, galvanometer and this is I, this is uh, you know I minus IG and this is IG. This IG deflects the uh, galvanometer to the maximum value. Well, this is the formula or the expression to be used to uh, answer this question, but here uh, we don't know what IG is. But uh, the problem gives some uh, parameters, some information, uh, which is, you know, it may be used to find what IG is. And this information is, in fact, this one. Uh, if you apply 0.5 volts through this galvanometer terminals, what you uh, get is the galvanometer deflects to the full, uh, you know, uh, scale. That means you have at that full, full scale the current that uh, flows through the galvanometer IG. And if we have 0 0.5 volts between A and B, and if we have 25 ohms as the resistance, then you can figure out what IG is by using the ohms law. IG is nothing but 0 0.5 volts divided by 25 volts and this is nothing but 0 0.02 amperes okay so now that we know uh, what ig is and we can plug this into this equation 0 0.02 and this is divided by since we want to use the maximum value of current which is 2 amperes i is set up to be 2 minus 0 0.02 multiplied by 25 okay so if you do this calculation what you obtain in your calculator is nothing but 0 0.553 ohms okay so this is it uh, if you choose your shunt resistance to be this value you know, you see, this this is in compared to the internal resistance of the galvanometer, a very uh, small number. In fact, it is one uh, percent of 
one percent value of, of almost of the internal resistance of the galvanometer so you you should use this much resistance in order to use this galvanometer as an ampere meter